everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of gonna be a mix of things. I'm calling it my how to look good in five minutes video because this is truly the makeup look that I do when I am in a rush. I just wanna look fresh in a quick way and this is something that I have mastered quite quickly. I believe in you, you too can master this full look in under five minutes, maybe like eight minutes, give or take on the day. Give or take how much coffee you've consumed. But this has also just been my go-to makeup in the recent weeks. I wanted to show you guys a few new products that I've been playing with and picking up over the last little while. And just showing you this makeup look because you guys know I love a fresh glowy base. If you're super tired, if you're really hungover, or if you just want to look fresh and dewy AF, this is uh, the makeup look that you can do. And I want to give you guys a few of the tips on how to achieve this makeup look. Just making you look very much awake and very much fresh. Very much fresh. That makes a lot of sense. So if you guys want to see how I got this face from looking drab to quite fab then please just keep on watching all right let's do this thing folks five minute makeup five minute makeup I'm gonna prep the skin a little bit this is the Caudalie beauty elixir whenever I do a five minute makeup I'm all about the skin because if you perfect the skin that's like the best everyday kind of makeup thing I'm gonna put some lip balm on because my lips are hella hella dry at all times of day this is the fresh sugar cream lip treatment in the shade pearl put the lip balm on before you start doing your makeup and then your lips will be all like juicy and ready for lip application at the end but I'm gonna mix these two Marc Jacobs products if you guys watched my haul with Jamie these are the two face products she gave me so thank you so much Jamie I'm gonna mix the two together for the ultimate like glowing and priming solution and I'm going to rub that so thickly all over my face and this will in itself just add the most beautiful lovely gorgeous base it's gonna hydrate your skin it's gonna make you look so much more fresh kind of like a disco ball if you're into that kind of thing I know I am <laughs> Then we're gonna move on to our covering product. I love to do a tinted moisturizer when I'm really, really in a hurry. I don't have to worry about like blending in a foundation, using a blender or a brush. I want something that I can use really quickly with my hands. This is the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. I also just got that if you watch that haul with Jamie. It's about a medium coverage, so if you're having a little bit more of a rough day with the skin, this is gonna be nice. It's super easy to just slap on, but it's also gonna give you that really nice coverage across the skin. So you're just evening out that skin tone all around giving yourself that fresh hydrated base. If you have things that you need to cover, I'm going to use a concealer that I can just quickly pat on with my finger. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. It's exceptionally wonderful at covering those problem areas. So you can kind of use this to just cover those bags underneath the eyes. That's immediately gonna make you look more awake. If you focus the product in the inner corner where this shadow is the most dark, that's gonna make you look so fresh to death and ready to take on the day. And you can do that with your fingers, so it's super, super quick. Just patting that into those inner corner hollows. Obviously, wherever you have spots that you wanna cover, you can also do that. But honestly, if I'm in a major, major hurry and I got that base down, I don't worry too, too much about concealing. As long as I have got that nice glowy base, I'm happy to run out the door, but I just conceal for the purpose of concealing and hiding those bags. Now it's super important to set your face with the powder, especially if you're doing a lot of glow like I have just done. It's going to set in all those oils. You're going to be ready to take on the day. I am using my Wowder, the Not A Powder. I will be working with this brand on the launch of the Wowder, so stay tuned for August 1st. I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on it. Excellent powder if you have dry skin. It's really lovely at setting in that makeup, taking away those oils, but not uh, causing any dryness or messing up with your fine lines on your face. So just setting that in with this beautiful brush. Now let's move on to the bronzer. I don't ever leave the house without some kind of bronzy on my face and if you want to cut out the contouring step you can use a matte bronzer and uh, do both so I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer to chisel out my cheekbones and the edges of my face to do both in one step and this will remove one of these steps for you I always start on the cheekbone I go around the forehead of my face I brush it onto the nose and then I take it onto the jawline. And if I just pack on a ton of bronzer, I am a happy lady. It's the one thing I need for me to just look and feel very, very fresh on my skin. I'm realizing right now that I didn't put my fake tan on, so this is a little bit dark for me right now, but we'll just pretend like it matches. Nothing new to see here. I'm just gonna take that bronzer a little bit onto the eyes, just adding some color there, making it look like you had a lot more time to get ready than you actually did. Now time for the highlight. If you apply highlight into places where you wanna look fresh and poppin', it's just gonna 
will make you look so fresh and awake and kind of distract from the darker, maybe more unslept areas of your face. So I'm actually gonna use the Burberry Fresh Glow highlighters today. I'm gonna mix together a uh, nude gold and rose gold because this is kind of like my fake tan shade. This is like my pale shade. I'm just gonna mix the two together to give me that uh, medium life. They have four shades of this beautiful Fresh Glow highlighter. It's like the perfect subtle but still pop and highlight. It's absolutely beautiful. Sandra gave me the rose gold highlighter as you guys know. I'm going to be using this mixture on the high points of my face and you can see that it just, oh, it just makes your skin look so alive. It's so gorgeous. Just dusting that onto the high points of my face. And for all intents and purposes of making yourself look much more awake, I'm going to be really applying that into the inner corners of the eyes because that's just gonna help, again, make you look so alive. And with the mixture of the highlighter and the bronzer on the eyes, I know this is nothing new. I know you guys have seen me do this before, but it's the easiest way to make you look very much put together when you're in a hurry. Now you can definitely skip the blush step, but if you wanna make yourself look awake, use a cool toned blush product. It's gonna make you look super hella fresh. And the one I'm using today is the, from this L'Oreal Pro Palette, Paints Palette infallible paints. I'm gonna take this cool toned pink just at the tip here. I'm gonna use a very, very little bit, just focused right in the apples of the cheeks, and that'll just help to add a really fresh, cool flush to the cheekbones. Absolutely love that blush shade. It is so, so gorgeous. If you have a couple extra minutes, I would definitely say to fill in the brows if you can. Most of the time when I'm in a hurry, I will just put my brow gel through it. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. But just know that if you uh, take the time to fill in your brows, that is going to really help to frame the face and just make you look much more complete. So I'm using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe to just fill in my brows. If I'm in a hurry, I will usually do just quite a botched, quick job and just look it through the hairs as I'm able. I don't spend too much time perfecting them. I just want to get that color in there. And once I've finished fiddling, I'm going to set in the brows. Again, if you don't have time to sit mucking with your brows, just set the hairs in with a brow gel. Whatever your priority is with your face, whatever you prefer. I personally like quite a strong brow. I go through phases. Right now it's in the strong brow phase and uh, that's an essential for me to look alive and awake. Now Lisa Eldridge, the beauty queen, once said that using a lavender eye pencil in the waterline will make you look very much awake and alive. This is the Marc Jacobs Pink of Me. So technically it's pink, but in my humble opinion, when I swatch it, it looks a little bit more lavender and this is a really beautiful creamy formula and applying this is just going to make yourself look so wide awake, like you've slept for a million years. Applying this in the waterline now for me I cry every time I do my waterline. Uh, it just makes your eyes look so much more awake in the lavender color. Because of that cool undertone, it's just very, very brightening on the eyes. So doing that helps a lot. Look at how much more alive I look. Kind of creepy, isn't it? <laughs> Going in with mascara, I always, 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 always prioritize mascara. This is the most opening, awakening, essential step of any makeup routine. And I typically only apply this to my upper lashes when I'm in a rush or on a day-to-day -day basis. A lot of the times, I will sit and apply tons and tons of coats to get that volume in there But if I'm in a hurry, I just slap on a layer and I'm good to go Now I used to believe in doing a bold lip when I'm in a hurry or if I'm feeling like crap If I put a bold lip on normally it takes away from the fact that you're looking like crap kind of everywhere else on your face But I realized that when I'm in a hurry dealing with a bold lip and trying to perfect that and making the line nice Is like the last thing I want to worry about doing so using a lighter more like your lips But better color on the lips just something you can slap on like a gloss or a lip liner. I really just like to make sure that my lip shape is outlined. Um, like you can see them, the lips are visible. And something that's a little bit more creamy and will look a little bit more fresh. Now these are the Burberry lip color contours and it's actually pretty cool. They have four shades designed for different skin tones. So you kind of have one to match your natural lip, which I think is really fun. And the colors are designed to be like your lips, but better. So uh, this is, which one is this? So I'm actually using the medium shade number 03 because this is kind of like my replacement for a lip liner. It's really, really really creamy, really blendable, and it's very moisturizing as well. So it's something you can kind of just slap on. You don't have to fiddle with it too much. Like that was so easy. That took me two seconds. Add some color and be pretty fuss free. So loving that. And it's also really nice packaging. Really great to just throw in your purse. And that my friends is the finished look. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I was able to offer some tips for you, showing you a lot of fun new products that I have been testing and trying out lately. I'm absolutely obsessed with this incredibly glowy, fresh base. It's a makeup look I go to. I mean, all the time, this is kind 
of my go-to everyday makeup. I can truly knock this out in about five minutes. In my daily routine, I know that I took a lot longer because I'm trying to explain each of the steps to you guys and kind of show you what I do. But honestly, once you get the hang of it, this is such a quick and easy makeup to do. It makes you feel hella fresh. It makes your skin look amazing. And it's kind of perfect for any occasion. Work, school, event, date, mall, eating bags of chips by myself, whatever you feel, whatever you're gonna move for. This is just the perfect, quick, fresh and glowy AF makeup that you can throw on your face like I just did and like I do every day. Anywho's in, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much as always for watching this video everyone and I will see you all in my next one. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, bye.